bergamot or bergamot? I choose bergamot and I'll tell you why. But first of all, you may be asking, well, what is bergamot? I got a question about that from one of my viewers a couple of years ago. Bergamot is a proprietary brand of bergamot. And if this is beginning to sound too commercial, just hold on. It's actually anything but that. Here's what happened. Bergamot oil has been known and prized for centuries for things like teas, Earl Grey tea, and perfumes. You only get three ounces of oil out of a hundred oranges. As you might imagine, industry decided we're gonna make an artificial version, and they did. And the price dropped dramatically. Here's what happened. Because of the price dropping, the Southern Italian farmers, they were poor and getting poorer because of this artificial product. They got together and said, we think our product is better and we think we can prove it. They got together with each other, they got grants from the Italian government, and that's exactly what they did. They proved that their natural product was better. So let's go over a little bit more about the detail in this. For those of you who don't know, bergamot is from the bergamia plant. It's also known as sour orange. It's only grown in a few areas, mostly southern Italy. It's in the bergamia family, which is part of the mint family. So as you see, that's a family of plants that just have a lot of very aromatic type of oils. It's actually the production and capital and symbol of Calabria, Italy. As we mentioned, it's been used for centuries in perfumes and teas. And as we also mentioned, it takes 100 oranges just to get three ounces of oil. Because of that, manufacturers decided to create an artificial substitute. In fact, if you go look at your tea, Earl Grey tea. Unless you knew this and focused on it specifically, your Earl Grey tea is probably made from artificial bergamot. What's the deal with bergamot and health? Well, it's been known for a while to have statin effects. And hold on before you turn this off if you're a statin hater, because this is a much bigger story than just statins. Geek alert, I'm gonna use a couple of technical terms here. Bergamot oil has the same impact on the enzyme that creates cholesterol, HMG synthetase. It inhibits that, and we've known that for a long time. But it also has some antidepressant effects, antimicrobial effects, and even more specifically, and more important in my mind, antioxidant effects. So as I mentioned, again, well-known anti-cholesterol type of effects. But here's the thing. Again, anti-inflammatory effects. Here's in Clinical Nutrition Journal, the anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects of bergamot juice. They used it actually in a model for treatment for inflammatory bowel disease. Here's what is my biggest interest though. And it has to do with insulin sensitivity. As you know, if you've seen other videos of mine, I personally think, and I'm not alone, that insulin resistance, pre-diabetes, metabolic syndrome, they're the same thing, and they are the biggest killer of mankind because they are the biggest cause of heart attacks. They're the biggest disabler of mankind because they cause the major cause of strokes, as in 80% of heart attacks, 80% of strokes, maybe even more, because they cause cardiovascular inflammation and plaque and inflammation of that plaque. Again, the big deal with bergamot and insulin resistance. Here's one of the articles, it's nutrients. I won't read the title, I'm just read the bottom line on this article. This study suggests that food supplements containing full spectrum of bergamot juice, such as BPEC, efficiently induce a combination of weight loss and insulin sensitivity effects together with a robust reduction of atherosclerosis risk. There that last component has to do with the LDLs. Again, my major focus is insulin sensitivity. And if you decrease someone's insulin resistance, increase their insulin sensitivity, you're probably gonna cause some weight loss. Now it's not all peaches and cream and everything good. You know what? Almost everything good has some bad with it. The true bergamot oils, if you get too much of them on your skin, can actually cause significant rashes with big blisters. 
And these are comments from my viewers who have had similar types of problems. There was actually even a reported death of, among children that had gotten into concentrated bergamot oil and drank way too much of it. So again, be careful how you deal with it. I don't know of anybody having a problem though in just routine teas, routine commercial products. Maybe that's got something to do with that pucker that you get when you drink Earl Grey tea. But back to the question of bergamot versus bergamot. So, as I mentioned, the artificial oils had driven the price down. And about 30 years ago, the farmers in Calabria got together and said, we think we can prove we've got a better product. Antonio Familiari, Francesco Crispo, Ezio Pizzi, and several others got together. And their story was told by the BBC in 2006. They got together, they formed a cooperative, they partially financed, and they got financing from the Italian federal government to actually do the research, look at the science, the health effects of their product versus the oils. And they won, and they've done well since. And their group, their product is called Bergamet. So they have become a hot commodity in the supplements industry. Now, you remember I said I was going to cover Calabria? Anybody remember Walter Longo? The fellow that invented Prolon, the fasting mimicking diet, the gerontologist at USC Davis. That's his hometown. If you get the book and read The Longevity Diet, he'll talk a little bit about Calabria. It's one of the blue zones in this world where you have people living more than anywhere else in the world, except maybe five or six other blue zones people living into their hundreds, centenarians. So again, a very healthy place, hometown of Walter Longo, but look at this, some of the prettiest beaches in the world. So that's Calabria. Back to the Bergamet story. As I mentioned, the purchasing rights from the Bergamet Cooperative have become a hot commodity, most recently purchased by a group called Grey Cloak. CEO is Sanjeev Javia, or Jeevers. Jeevers I, I met about a year ago. He's got 17 years of formulating nutritional products. He's got a specialty in nutrition and exercise, like most specifically diabetes and other metabolic products. He's recently gotten into neurologic diseases, focusing on CBD products. So here's the question, Bergamet, is it really better? I think so. Patients, as I mentioned before, say, well, Doc, this is all an interesting story. You've given me a lot of interesting facts, but what do you do? Well, I take it. This one was actually sent to me by Jeevers. I have been talking with him about getting something set up for a better price and better access for my patients. I don't have that set up yet. I tend to move slowly on some of the business-related components, but I do want to get the health story out there. I'm pretty sure it is available on Amazon until we get something set up. I know you can get it. Thank you for your interest.